This episode is made possible by PwC. It's getting hot out here. Moving the mercury can help move your business. PwC helps turn sustainability theory into real-world action. Reduce your carbon footprint while increasing transparency in net zero commitments. Start with reporting to identify your climate risks and reinvent your business. Create a more sustainable business and a stronger planet. It's all part of the new equation. Learn more at the newequation.com. Tonight in Arkansas, there's a mother tucking in her daughter and turning off the light. A business owner is burning the midnight oil. An at home dinner date is plating up possibility. And it's all happening under one roof. How? The power of a conversation, like the one John from Integrity Solutions had with First Horizon Bank about his vision for a sustainable mixed use building. Now it's not just words, it's life. First Horizon Bank, let's find a way. Go to firsthorizon.com slash John. First Horizon Bank, member FDIC. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On this Christmas Eve, we're happy to welcome as our guests a chorus of 1,000 voices from the Great Lakes Naval Training Station, which is our way of wishing you Christmas greetings. We, of course, are Bill Foreman, Ray Noble and his orchestra, the lovely Joan Merrill, Edgar Bergen, and Charlie McCarthy. folks, this is Charlie McCarthy wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy Bergen. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Charlie. Well, hello, Mr. Mochi. Well, I suppose you've written to uh, Santa Claus, huh? Yes, I wrote to him. Mm -hmm. Just to play safe, I sent a carbon copy to Bergen. <laughs> I'm no fool, you know. I don't know. <laughs> I suppose you uh, hinted at what you wanted. Brother, I hinted for eight pages, I hinted. <laughs> But every year, Bergen turns a deaf purse. <laughs> oh, well, Charlie, why don't, why don't you be a little more subtle? Well, that don't work either. No? Last year, I was subtle. I hinted for something with two wheels and a handlebar. And what did you get? A lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie and Edgar will be back in just a few moments. A few moments made lovely as the charming Joan Merrill sings a cowboy song by the urbane Mr. Cole Porter. Don't fence me in. If you please, Joan. <laughs> Above. Don't fence me in. No. Let me ride through the wide open country that I love. Don't fence me in. No. Let me be by myself in the evening breeze. Listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees. Send me off the level the high ask you please. Don't fence me in. Just turn me let me straddle my old saddle underneath the western, see the western sky. On my cayuse, let me wander over yonder till I see the mountains rise. See the mountains rise. I want to ride to the ridge where the west commences. Gaze at the moon till I lose my senses. Can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences. Don't fence. Turn me loose. Let me straddle my own saddle underneath the western sky. Under the sky. On my cayuse. Let me wander over yonder till I see the mountains rise. Till I see the mountains rise. I want to ride to the ridge where the west commences. Gaze at the moon till I lose my senses. Can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences. Lovely, Joan, lovely. Thank you very much. Dad. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a few words from your Yule Log, Charlie McCarthy. 
Oh, thank you, Don. My pal, my friend. You know, you're the nicest Don Amici I know. Uh oh. Yes, you are. When you talk like that, I know you want something. What is it, Johnny? Well, it just so happens you're right this time. I do need help. You see, Bergen said that I, if I would recite the night before Christmas this evening, mm -hmm. he'd give me a special Christmas present. Well, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Have you memorized it? Uh, well, part of it, that's all. Which part? Uh, just the title. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what do you want me to do? Well, uh, make Bergen forget about the poem, but not about the presents. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, now, yeah. let me see. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got it. Why don't you say that after you learned it, a blow on the head made you forget it? Yeah, uh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah, and I'll be glad to cooperate with a baseball bat. <laughs> that's that, that's that, that's that. Well, now, look, why should I help you? Why, why didn't you learn the poem in the first place? Well, I was, I was just too busy, Don. Busy doing what? Well, I was one thing or another. I was playing hooky for a sick friend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you are, Charlie. Oh, how are you? Don, you're just in time to hear Charlie recite that lovely Christmas poem, The Night Before Christmas, mm. by Clement Clark Moore. Thanks, Penny. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I bet he wouldn't have written it if he had a memorized it. <laughs> All right, Charlie, go ahead and recite it. Well, I, uh, I can recite it much better, Bergen, uh, uh, from memory, if uh, with a book in front of me. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll give the introduction. No, no, Don. Fanfare, Mr. Noble? No, Don. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now about to hear that famous classic, The Night Before Christmas, perpetrated by Charlie McCarthy. Oh, <laughs> cut it out, fellas. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. No, now you go right ahead and recite it, Charlie. No, please, thank you. No. Now, you mustn't be nervous. Well, I've always been timid. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you go right ahead, Charlie. No, please. Charlie, go right ahead and recite it. You, you, you. <laughs> Charlie. You. Now, you mustn't be nervous. Well, I'm a bundle of nerves, Charlie. <laughs> Remember, no recitation, no present. Oh. Uh, now, we're all ra waiting to hear about Santa Claus. Well, I'll try. Thank you. There ought to be one down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're waiting. All right. Ahem. <clears throat> Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Santa Rivera. No, no. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm wrong. Yes, yes, you're a little confused. Well, I'm a bundle of nerves. Yes, yes, I know. Now, you start over again. Yes. Under the spreading Christmas tree, a village Santa stands? No, no, no. Perhaps if I just help you with a little start. That would be good. Yes. T'was the night before Christmas and all through the house... Gadbergen, you took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and believe me, it felt good to get rid of them, too. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what's the next line? Uh, mm -hmm. I see. What's the next line? Oh, the next line? Yes. Oh, there's more, isn't there? Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, there's, uh, there's all through the house, all through the house. Uh, let's see. Um, quiet, please, quiet. Yeah. <laughs> What's the next line, fellas? No, 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 no. No, not a... What, remember what it is? No. Yeah. Not a creature was stirring, not even a louse. No, no, no. <laughs> not a creature was stirring, not even a mouth. Yeah. And that's the way it goes. Yes, yes, yes. The stockings were hung... Huh? Stockings were hung where? On a nail. No, no. <laughs> the stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes... In hopes? In hopes. In hopes that the laundry man soon would be there. No. 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 In hopes that Saint... Saint who? Saint Vitus? No. Saint Bernard? No, no. Saint Paul? No, no. Minneapolis? No, now wait a Well, gee whiz, I tried. All right. I'm on the wrong track. You certainly are. I'm going to hate thyself in the morning for not knowing this. Yes. Well, now, you continue. Yes. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. In hopes. Oh, yes, yes. In hopes. In hopes. No coaching, please. Yes. Much. 
In hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Santa calling. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the children were nestled all snug in their bed. Shoot if you must, this old gray head. No. <laughs> Well, I give up. Charlie, surely you know the part about Santa Claus. What part? Yeah. The arms and legs? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> about how he rides through the skies. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, Santa Claus. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yes, of course. He flies through the air with the greatest of ease. The jolly fat man in the red DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Well, that part I'm a little rusty on, right in there. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Especially right around there. Yes, all right. Well, I'll tell you, it goes this way. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter... What'd you do? I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Oh, yeah. I tore open the shutters and threw up the, the sash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now what about the reindeers? Oh, what about them? Yeah. What were their names? Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. What were they? Well, there's Dancer and Prancer. Oh, yeah, yeah. And what are the rest of them? Right, there's Dancer and Prancer and... And, uh... And Dandruff and Blinces. No, no. <laughs> Dunder and Lightning. No, no, no. I give up. Donner. Donner? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Donner and Michi. No, no. <laughs> I didn't know he made the team. Well, he didn't. <laughs> And what did Santa say? What did he say? Well, he said, on dancer, on prancer. Oh, yeah. On dancer, on prancer. And what do you know? <laughs> prancer came in and paid two twenty to show. No. <laughs> and what happened after that? Santa Claus lived happily ever after. <laughs> the end. Give me the present. Well, <laughs> no, no, no. not so fast. You know, Charlie, I don't believe you study that poem at all. Well, uh, I wasn't letter perfect, was I? No, you weren't. <laughs> this being Christmas Eve, Bergen, I cannot tell a lie. I, I didn't study. No, well, I'm disappointed in you. Yes, sir. But inasmuch as you were man enough to own up. Oh, I did that, sir. Yes. I'm going to give you the present anyway. Oh, thank you, Peggy. And here it is. Oh, thank you. What is it? It's a beautifully illustrated copy of that famous poem, <laughs> The Night Before Christmas. Is that the present I get? That's it. This is Christmas, Bergen, not April Fool. Oh. Facing the immediate future, prospects look very good because it brings Joan Merrill and Ray Noble's orchestra together in Don't Take Your Love From Me. You can take my castle, that's if I had a castle, and I'd miss it for just a while. You could take my treasure, that's if I had a treasure, and I'd face poverty with a smile. But there's one thing I ask of you. One thing you must never do. Tear a star from out the sky. And the sky feels blue Tear a petal from a rose And the rose weeps too Take your heart away from mine And mine will surely break my love So please keep the spark away. Would you take the wings from birds so that they can fly? Would you take the ocean's roar and leave just the sun? I beg 
from me All this your heart would never do This is what I beg of you Don't take your love from And don't you think we should have Christmas carols or something like that? I certainly do, Charlie, and we are. We're going to have a chorus of a thousand voices with us. A thousand? Yes. Well, you can't listen to that many voices at once, can you? Well, you can if your ear is trained for it, Charlie. For instance, when Ray Noble's band plays, he not only listens to it as an orchestra, he does, yeah, but he hears each and every individual instrument. Yeah? Yes. And he doesn't do anything about it? Well... <laughs> well... The point that I'm trying to make, Charlie, is that to fully enjoy the best in music requires training. And that's why I've arranged for you to take lessons from a famous singing teacher. Well, now, that's nice of you, Bergen. I didn't know you knew so much about music. Well, I, I appreciate classical music, although I, I don't think you could call me a long hair. <laughs> no. No, no one could call you that, Bergen. No. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, 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 hello. Excuse me, please. It's Senor Bourbon. Oh, no, Bergen. Yes, yes. Bourbon, hello, yes, Professor. Yes. Who is this, Bergen? I am Donaldo Pizzicato Amici Victrola Gazzolo, yeah. the, the famous singer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you good. <laughs> if you're a singer, Gazzolo, I'm John Charles Thomas. No, I'm a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Thomas. <laughs> the pleasure's all yours. Well, let's get to going now. At the first, I'm going to teach you the music of Yeah. You know, the... <laughs> the harmony and the applied stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to get knee-deep in it, too. Yeah. Now, tell me, Professor, are you familiar with Mozart? Oh, Mo and I just like that. <laughs> What about the others? Eh, yeah, sure, I know them all. I know Rimsky, Kofi, Kopi, Streptokowski, Rossini, Puccini. How about Jack Beanie? <laughs> it's all right. That's good. good. Good, yes. Yeah. Say to me, what do you know about Chopin? Well, Chopin, you play it like ping pong, only you use a larger racket. Oh, no. no, no, no. That's right. That's <laughs> perfect. Now, first of all, to listen to music, you've got to have music. Yeah. I'll go along with you so far, yeah. <laughs> when the music, she comes out loud, is a fortissimo. fortissimo. If it comes out soft, is a pianissimo. Mm -hmm. Then we got a high key and a low key. Yeah? And sometimes you got a no key. In that case, you climb in the window. Now, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 it's a cute. Yeah, well, now, Professor cute. Gazzola, suppose we get on with the lesson, if you don't mind. Okay, Mr. Bonbon. Bergen. 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 Why? Bergen. B yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Charlie, you sing after me. Me, me, me. Uh, you, you, you. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. Uh -huh. Now we try another one. Do, re, me. Uh, speaking, mis speaking of a do, re, me. That reminds me. When do I get my pay? <laughs> well, I don't blame you for being worried. All right, now, just a moment, Professor. Before we talk about that, I'd like to know just a little more about your background. Oh, so happy for ten years. So happy. <laughs> Thank you. For 20 years, I was a Venetian gondolier. Oh, is that so? Yes. Were you the menace of Venice? And John... <laughs> Well, I've been in Venice, Professor, and it's a romantic spot with those singing gondoliers. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. I remember I used to sing it like this. Oh, sole mio, splash, splash. <laughs> What's the splash, splash? Well, I've got to push the boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two years later, I sing it like this. Oh, sole mio, put, put, put. Ah. What's the put, put, put? <laughs> I make a plan in the morning. i got to outboard the motor. Oh, good. 
You know, I write the songs, too. Oh, you write songs? Oh, sure. Well, then you must meet our famous songwriter, Ray Noble. Oh, Ray? Uh, yes, Edgar. Uh, meet Professor Gazzolo. Oh, you know something about the music? <laughs> oh, yes, rather. Why, some of my best songs are music. <laughs> <laughs> Well, who do you think of that, huh? <laughs> Say, who are you study under, hmm? Uh, the people upstairs, old boy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's a very funny man, eh? Yeah, well, don't encourage him, don't. <laughs> oh, no, eh? Huh? He's a bad one, you know. Oh, yeah. Huh? Professor Gazzolo has studied music in Italy, Ray. Oh, oh yeah. did you really, old man? Dear me. And have you a bachelor's degree? Uh, no, no, senor. I got the four bambinos. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you fellas have so much in common. Now, I'd like to ask you one question. What do you think is the finest piece of music ever written? Well, Edgar, if you ask me, I'd say the volcano song. Volcano song? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know. Lava, come back to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's yours, Professor? Well, the song I like the best is Is You Ain't or Don't You Is My Bambi. Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. Bergen, ask me, ask me, Bergen, ask me. All right. Ask yes, me. all right, Charlie. What's your favorite song? Well, my favorite song is By the Old Chow Mein Pagoda Looking Cockeyed at the Sea. <laughs> <laughs> From the Great Lakes Naval Training Station on the banks of Lake Michigan, we hear from the famed Thousand Voice Choir singing a medley of Christmas carols. Ladies and gentlemen, the Navy sings. They sing in pride, in exultation, and on this Christmas Eve, in humble gratitude. We listen now to our Navy. Oh,
And a great big Merry Christmas to all of you from Edgar Bergen. And a trial size from Charlie McCarthy. <laughs> And Merry Christmas to you, Charlie, and Merry Christmas to everyone. For myself, I've had the honor and the privilege in the past of bringing you the American prayer. Its sentiments today are as powerful as they ever were. I think it says what is in all our hearts this Christmas. The American prayer. O Father who art in heaven, thou who hast given us birth, Lend us thy flaming sword, O Lord, to fight thy battle on earth. As we walk through the perilous darkness, lend us thy holy light that shines in thy heavenly mansion to guide our path in the night. And lend thy shield and thy armor to the gallant boys over there. They are thy children, Father, and this is thy country's prayer, that soon may the forces of evil fall at last on their knees with the flag of thy kingdom of heaven flying high in the breeze. Then sons will return to their mothers and men to their wives. And then this earth will be like heaven, peaceful and bright. Amen. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service. Was Neil Armstrong actually on the moon? When did Europe start speaking English? Did Marco Polo really go to China? Curiosity Stream is the streaming service for all things history, plus science, wildlife, and more. What's the real story behind the Mona Lisa? We've got that. What caused the collapse of Rome? We know. Where did we find mankind's earliest ancestor? Come find out. For the holidays, give the gift of curiosity with 25% off gift cards for your curious cohorts. It's holiday shopping season at curiositystream.com slash gift. Make the most of your holidays by celebrating Christmas at Biltmore. Enjoy a breathtaking tour of America's largest home, filled with shimmering Christmas trees and adorned 
in all its Yuletide glory. Then, don't miss your last chance to experience our immersive digital art exhibit, Italian Renaissance Alive, during its final weeks. Save with online ticket discounts at Biltmore.com.